I said good night, my viewers. Welcome back to the channel. So, right now, my viewers, continue to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your thoughts in your comments down below in the comment section. So, right now, Correction Department resume visit as adult prison. The Department of Correctional Service, DCS, will resume non contact visit in the adult in the institution as of Monday, March 28th. The resumption follow the withdrawal of the Disaster Risk Management Act, DRMA, on Friday, March 18. Earlier this month, it resumed visit at the juvenile facility. The man said, right, I know the people, they go get back some visit. So right now, quick and fast, L.A. Lewis files assault charges against Bobsy Grange. Controversial entertainment figure, Horace L.A. Lewis, has filed a report with the police alleging assault at the hands of the cultural minister Oliver Bobsy Grange. The report was filed at the Trenchtown Police Station in South St. Andrew on Wednesday, efforts by the, the news to reach Grange for a comment on the report were unsuccessful. Culture Yard is the farmer home of reggae icon Bob Marley which was turned into a cultural center and museum. Be under trauma because at the end of the day, me no used to things like this. Me used to excitement, but not things like this, where Bobsy Grange come cross and I put her hand upon me. L.A. Lewis told the news. She do it like a push, she a push me, but she grab her claw in a me hard and leave imprint. Me never did I expect it, but me still a smile for make it look like nothing I go on. Because the media was in front of me and me never want to look embarrassed, he added. In a video making the rounds on social media, Grange is seen cutting short a media interview with L.A. Lewis. L.A., this is not your show. Come, Grange is heard saying while resting the palm of her right hand on his back. Mm -hmm. Lewis acknowledged the minister but continued to speak. At the time, Grange beckoned to businessman Grange Pong to deal with that. Medical report, a proportion medical report dated March 23, said L.A. Lewis suffering from a burst on the left scapula otherwise known as the shoulder blade. The report, which was seen by the gleaner and which bore signature of medical doctor Kimon Robinson, said that the injury was serious. It said that she injured is consistent with inflection by blunt trauma but is not likely to be permanent. L.A. Lewis was prescribed painkillers she called across the honorable grange pan justice of peace to come and move me when his orana say me say oh boy babsy is la man she said move that so the same time grange tell me to walk out her and avoid all the trouble he reckoned lewis said the incident has left him feeling fearful as he was later approached by two men who he claimed threatened him. He said the men told him that he was not to be seen in the area, none at all. Meanwhile, Lewis, lawyer Charles Greenstein, said his client is taking the physical attack on him by the minister of Bobsy Green. Very serious. And note that the laws of Jamaica are applicable, kept acceptable to any minister in the same manner as anyone else. So right there, so L.A. Lewis and Bob Zigri and Gina some little problem right there. So we don't know how we really go on still, but no says I'm looking to touch up on some little feel up one. So anyway, just leave some comment down below. Two children 
taking out in Clarendon dwelling house fire. A Clarendon community is in mourning following the tragic deaths of two toddlers in a fire. The children ages 1, 03 and 04 years were chopped in the blazing zinc and concrete dwelling in Acefield Racecourse as the fire range. The cause of the fire is not known. The mother of the child, Marcy Walters, 27, said she had just gone across the road when others in the yard raised an alarm that their house was on blaze. They tried to save the youths, but the fire smoke quickly engulfed. She entered. Deputy Superintendent Dennis Lyons of the Clarendon Fire Department told the news that the fire started sometime after 11 this morning. Ex-soldier can up an injure in crossroad robbery. The police are now probing the shooting and robbery of an ex-Jamaica Defence Force corporal in the vicinity of Crossroad Tax Office in St. Andrew yesterday. Image of the wound victim have been making rounds on social media. The 57-year-old was taken to hospital. His condition is not yet being immediate ascertained. Yeah, man, we have the videos them. We have everything. We have everything for sure now. So if you ask... I don't know how they do already. You know, just leave some comment in and we drop the video on the said speed. Bike. Biker. Pregnant Pilana. Slap away in Westmoreland. Hopeton. Buckner. A bike taxi operator and a four-month pregnant pilant were conned up and taken out by armed men in Westmoreland last night. Robinson was driving his motorcycle taxi along Nomperel Road with... The Copeland, as a pillant, and reaching a section of the roadway, they were ambushed by armed men who opened fire, hitting them both. Robinson lost control of the motorcycle and crashed into a building. The police were summoned, and upon arrival, both injured victims were rushed to the Savlamar Hospital, where they were both pronounced. Very drastic, movie was. Very drastic. But, Jano, we don't know how we really go on still, my viewers, but we are going to get to the center of it and we are going to make one know how we go on. Our alleged child abductor, Davian Breyer, wept as he surrendered. Suspect child abductor, Davian Bryan, arranging his surrender to the police and wept. As he was apprehended and family members have claimed that Carrie Ann Bryan, a sister of the accused, described how she led cops to her relative brother in the Bushes area. Led cops in the Bushes area in Durham District, Portland, ending a near five-month manhunt by the police residents across two parishes. Him say him no sleep since October and a long time him won go in. She told the news. Kerry and Brian also praise the cops for the way they treat her brother. Them no rough him up because he was cooperating. Him no give them no trouble so them deal with him good, she said. Davian Brian has been on the run since last October when he was suspected by the police and residents of abducting two little females, ages 9 and 13 in Bath St. Thomas. Brian is facing charges in the Portland Circuit Court for rape and illegal possession of firearm. He had been on bail. The police, through its official Twitter account, report that Brian was captured during an intelligent-led operation. His sister, said last Wednesday evening she got a telephone call from her brother indicating that he was in Dorman and wanted to turn himself in. Him say, me fi come for him, she told the news. Kerian said she made arrangements with three cops she trusted and led them to the bushes area in Dorman. Him tell me fi come in at the light and make him see me first, she recounted. Then when I went into the light, him run up, come and hug me up. John Jacob 
The lawyer representing Davian Bryan said he is waiting to hear how the police will treat the child abductor allegations. There are multiple allegations now and so we have to contact the police because they will have to decide how they are going to treat the different cases Jacob told the news. Some of you have continued to like, share and subscribe.